Alright, so I just got back from Home Depot. I got all my supplies I need to do this little, um, desk slash kind of, so I can organize all my stuff down in my little workroom stuff where I edit videos and do all the stickers and vinyls and everything like that. So, tomorrow I'm probably going to get to this today since it's so nice outside. I'm going to go rip pit bikes for a little bit for like two, three hours, build some more jumps out in those woods, those little woods trails things. You guys have seen it in like the last or the video before that, I'm pretty sure. But I'm regardless going to come back to this today, get on that build, and then walk you guys through what I want to do. Probably going to change it up because I'm really like uncertain on what I want to do with this and it's all just up in the air right now but I have a rough idea on what I want to do so like I said come back to this tomorrow and I'll start building that Black outside, it's like 6.30 at night. I decided, hey, I was gonna do it tomorrow, um, Sunday, and push it off one more day, but I figured I have the heater that I just bought, so I may as well use it in the garage. So this is the setup I got right now. I got all that, which I have to stain and sand down to make it a little bit smoother. And I got a, I got the two uh, peg hole boards I'm gonna paint black, um, so it'll match, because I got black stain, if you guys saw that. I'll show you guys over here. It's heating up a little bit. No, it's not the safest on a plastic cooler in front of that, but it's pretty far away. I just got some, uh, some simple, it's got some simple uh, like black stain, and I got some simple ultra um, high gloss black paint for the peg hole. So hopefully it comes out pretty good. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I just, I don't know. I'm gonna give it a try. On this table over here, I'm taking this top off, and I'm just using the frame for it. I'll take that out in a minute. This is the uh, beginning of the video before I had to Justin's in a little bit to set up the white bar on my 110 over here. I got a little six inch white bar that I'm putting on this thing right on the top maybe for the, cause it gets so dark so quick. We wanna ride past like five o'clock. So I got a little six inch light bar that should be good to mount on there. So I'm gonna do that tomorrow. And then um, I also got new drum brake cleats. So I'm gonna throw those on and then I'm gonna change the oil and um, clean the air filter on this thing and get it all dialed. And I might actually um, reach out the carb also while I'm over there, depending on how much time we have. But for now, I'm gonna get this whole desk and things set up for um, my office downstairs. I don't know, why not? A lot of you said that I should vlog every single day and this is kind of like me gradually moving into that and not just doing dirt bike stuff. So let me know what you guys think about this little build in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up right now and um, yeah, we'll get right into it. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is sand it down with some uh, 220 grit sandpaper on the side. that all sanded good to go all uh, brushed off and all clean I wiped it down a little bit now I'm gonna paint these really fast with the black classifier all right I got the second one painted I'm gonna probably wait like 10 20 minutes before I do the second coat move on to uh, staining that Whole uh, top layer stains the first coat. I think you're supposed to do coats with stains. So, regardless, gonna do one more coat. Do one more coat right now on those, and then um, start building this thing, or actually start taking this thing apart to put the top on for tomorrow morning. I unscrewed everything for the table here, and this whole frame should just pull right off. So I got a second coat of stain on there. I think I'm gonna leave it like this. I kind of like how you can see it the little bit of wood through there. It's still drying and then I got the side piece which is going to um, kind of sit right here and it's gonna be and it's gonna be kind of like a side along the whole edge there. So. All right, so it's the next morning here. Everything's all stained up, all good to go and dry. So this is good. Now I'm gonna just flip this over and then put this on the top and screw everything down. I got this nice edge on there, nice and flush with the top of the wood here. Cut off a little shim off the extra wood and kind of jammed it in there and then put an extra screw through there and then I'm gonna touch it up 
a little bit of stain or Brian just sent me a snapchat he put all the blue plastics on his bike right here post a comment down below what you think about all the blue plastics if the blue looks better than the white like I was saying before I think it looks sick with so here's the plan my uh, my little brother helped me uh, hold these up I put a couple screws zipped them in the bottom but obviously they're gonna be super flimsy right now so what I'm gonna do is use these two by fours and just kind of put a two by four up like that and then possibly do a two by four all the way along the back here and then a one down. Look at this weather currently. Look, it's hailing. Wow, I absolutely love winter. I love it, I love it. But I put this two by four on the back here to make it a little more sturdy. It definitely doesn't wobble as much, but I have these little L brackets um, right here that I might put on the bottom. Got the uh, back pieces put on, just the ones on the top and the middle. And then once I get downstairs, um, I can actually just screw it right into the wall if I find a stud and it's not gonna move anywhere, but overall it's really solid. Now, let me know if you guys like these kind of building vlogs. I'm not really sure, like I enjoy building and doing stuff. Like, post a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up if you want more like raw videos like this one where I'm just doing something totally random, not dirt bike stuff. So let me know if you wanna see more of this content along with still the normal dirt bike stuff like I always ask you guys, but I'm just curious to know because it really does make a difference on um, like what you guys wanna watch and like your feedback on the comments. So constructive criticism is always really good and the more comments you guys leave on my videos, the better I can make them and the more I can please your eyes when you're watching that video. So that you know what I'm trying to say. I got everything set up here. I got the desk. I put the car there just for uh, the hell of it. I'm gonna mount a light right here. I got a little, uh, like L bracket mounted up. I still got to screw it into the wall, but for right now I got the vinyl set up. I'm not sure if this is the uh, the for sure setup on how I'm leaving everything, but yeah, it gives you a good idea. And here's the final update. Got the printer machine over there, all the vinyl stacked up. I got to get more of those and I'm going to continue over there and I'm going to pick up a light tonight. And uh, I think it came out pretty good. All right, so it is currently snowing. I got the pit bike loaded up and bringing it to Justin's house. Ryan's over there with his pit bike. I'm going to install the light bar. All right, so we just got to Justin's house. I got my pit bike in here, the 125 of course. We got the heater blaring because it's freezing outside. I brought the old countertop over from my old desk that I just built. So we put a couple screws in there and then just a two by four for right now so none of the screws like slide off and then go down there into the home of death where you're never gonna get the screw back. Um, Justin's here of course, Ryan's over there working on his new SSR. He's mounting up a little light bar uh, Justin sold him or gave to him. Justin picked up a little uh, project bike, little beater, whatever. 50 over there, we're still taking this motor out. This, it's got the same motor as my 50 on this, so there's something wrong with it, I'm not entirely sure, but he might end up putting this motor on that bike or putting it back in the 50, so we're not really sure yet, so we can ride by Tuesday. And then as far as my bike, like I said, over here, I've got a little uh, six inch light bar. I think it might be the same one as Ryan, but I'm just gonna, for, for the time being, I'm not gonna run this all the time, I'm gonna mount a light bar somewhere on here. Uh, because it gets dark so quick now and then back here for the last thing I forgot to stop and get oil so I don't have oil to change but I finally 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 placed rear brake cleats for the rear brake because uh yeah I've needed them for so long finally ordered them they were like ten dollars I don't know why I didn't order it before off Amazon but finally get those changed out so I can have rear brakes again and other than that um I'm sure the light bar is going to take us a little bit to figure out how to wire it in and then I also want to have an on off switch so we'll figure it out. Alright so here's the contraption I've rigged up right now. For At first I was just putting zip ties here with this little bracket if my camera would focus with this little bracket just to see if I like the placement of the light bar and it only has three zip ties two in the middle and then one right over top the whole thing and honestly it doesn't really move at all a little bit side to side but for how much like it weighs, I don't think it's really gonna shift that much. So if I grab the light bar, it would be mounted directly like this, which I think is pretty much perfect for what I want. I mean, I didn't, there's no other way I can really mount it so it's centered first of all, and so I can turn it up and down, mainly down. I don't really need it up too far, but, and to fit in between the bar pad and whatnot. So I think this is my best bet. And considering that it's not gonna be um, permanent, that I'm gonna take it off anyway, come springtime or whenever when I don't want the light bar on here anymore. So I think the best way right now, what are you doing? <laughs> Why? Oh. Okay. Hey, oil, oil. I was saying, I'm just going to leave it zip tied the way it was. I don't think it's a big deal and it's pretty solid. I know it's a little bit rigged. 
And uh, most of these, front of these plastics are a little rigged, but they don't go anywhere. I mean, this is pretty much zip tied on, but um, it doesn't move. You can't tell from the front of it. You can't really tell at all. I mean, unless you really look close at it, but for what it is, I think I'm just gonna run it like that. I was also gonna use this little bracket thing, but it's really, really flimsy. And honestly, I think the zip ties are better to be honest, so. he wired up his light bar properly only when you rev it though yeah only when you rev it so look at the wrong youtube how to then hey, it's someone all right i'll give you that i'll give you that but at least it turned on that's cool though it worked, it worked, it worked. oh you're it's barely touching on there yeah. a little bit side to side i'm sure i can um put another couple zip ties on there and i'm sure i'd button it up but um, I don't know if it's really terrible when I'm riding, I might end up swapping it out to like a solid um, bolt. Just with it like that, it doesn't look too bad. It's That's pretty much what it's gonna look like now. So comes off the number plate a little bit. It's kind of in between actually. It's a little, a little crooked, I gotta slide it over, but yeah, for the most part. I would have preferred it to be kind of in the middle here, tucked away, but post your comment down below if you have a light bar mounted on your pit bike, how you mounted it, how you wired it in, where you mounted it, and uh, what specific pit bike you have. So I'm kind of curious how other people have done it. Actually, send me a picture through Instagram. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's just at Tyler Monaghan. Uh, but send me a DM there of your pit bike and I'll try to answer to some of you guys because sometimes they're overwhelming. I can't respond to everybody. I'm sorry about that, but I will definitely get to some of you guys and uh, talk about pit bike. So Ryan just got his all dialed in, good to go. Um, he was having problems where only when he revved it, it would actually turn on. So I looked up a how-to on YouTube, which he did before. I'm not really sure what video he saw, but told him to do some other thing. But the yellow wire is the hot wire and then he just has to ground it. He's not doing a switch. He's just gonna run it um, all the time on. But for me, I wanna have a switch. I wanna be able to turn it on and off. So um, I've got a separate switch over here Justin has. I don't really care what it looks like for a switch. Um, should have this light bar set to go for uh, to ride tomorrow. So I'm stoked to see how it comes out, how bright it is to really test it out tomorrow night. Actually, I'm probably gonna test it. I'm gonna test it as I leave here, just around the uh, the block here, whatever. Test it out, see how bright it really is. It's pitch black, but um, yeah, got a little light bar now. Um, for the people wondering about the KX125 build, um, probably another month I'm starting to get some parts in from Motosport. So uh, I want to have most of all the parts ready, even though I'm going to strip it down, I'm probably going to get the frame powder coated, swing arm powder coated, and a few other things. But other than that, I'm probably going to sell a bunch of parts. So if any of you need 2001 or whatever the range of year is where the parts are identical, if you need any parts, DM me on Instagram or send me an email. Like Legit inquiries only. Like I don't want to deal like if you actually need a part, let me know because I'm probably going to get rid of the uh, wheels and tires, the hubs, the whole thing. Front and rear, sprockets, bars, um, forks, um, and a few other miscellaneous things, plastics. So let me know, pipe, the whole pipe will be for sale. So let me know, DM me or email me if you actually want parts and we will figure something out. Majority of the stuff is getting replaced anyway, so may as well sell it, I don't need it laying around. So. 50 still over here with the motor out of it. I'm still looking for a Sierra 50 motor. Like I said before, if any of you know or have a Sierra 50 motor, um, once again, DM me on Instagram and I will buy it off of you or send me a link on eBay. I can't find one. I cannot find a Sierra 50 motor. So, all right, so Ryan claims that everything's good to go. I'll wire it up properly to see when he fires it up, if it turns on. <laughs> Worry about the fender. <laughs> oh! All right, keep it idling, keep it idling. Just gets washed out on the camera, but it's super bright. Oh, it went out. No, you're good. He's definitely got to tilt it down a little bit. I got the tank taken off and zip tied onto this so it won't fall down because I don't want to take the fuel line off. But anyways, I got the wire stripped here. I'm just tying it into the yellow wire, which is supposedly the hot wire and just connecting it there and then I'm just gonna ground it. Hopefully it works. Ryan's worked fine, he just had bad connections so it kept turning off on him but 
Um, as long as I do it properly, it should work. Should work. Right, so I got this thing all wired in, good to go. Somewhat. I don't have a switch yet, so until I got a switch, I just got. Uh, I'm just gonna unplug it every time and just um, do it that way. But I'm gonna secure it at the top here or something like that, so it's not flopping around. But I went to go kickstart it, and somehow my throttle cable got pulled up a little bit, and uh, I kicked it over, and it was just instantly full throttle. It was like the ghost. I started full throttle. Duh, 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 duh. I shut it off really fast. So now I fixed the throttle cable. It should fire up and the light bar should turn on. So it's idling, the light's on, fine. It's a little bit flickering t a tiny bit on the camera, but once you rev it up a little bit, it's totally fine. It, the camera makes it look a lot worse than what it is uh, in person. So I'm pretty happy with it. Theory, when I disconnect it, turns off, perfect. Why'd it shut the bike off? Oh shoot. Oh, I messed up, dude. Okay, so I finally got it all figured out. Now that all I have to do is go right here, pull that and disconnect it and then reconnect it, obviously, to turn it on. So for right now, it'll work because I don't want the light bar running 24 seven. But um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out until I'm gonna order up a little uh, kill switch off Amazon tonight so I can have it probably by like Wednesday or so. But for right now, like I said, should be fine for tomorrow and Tuesday where it's supposed to be nice and not freezing cold. So we should be able to ride a little bit later now that we got the light bars on. Boom, we're all set. Light bar is good to go. I'm not gonna probably, not probably gonna get to the rear drum break today because I think it's already like 10 o'clock. I'm gonna head home and I'll probably wrap this video up here. But tomorrow or the next day or the next day after that, expect a big for actually probably the next two videos. Expect um, a lot of pit bike stuff. We're supposed to have about one, two, three, like maybe five, six people riding pit bikes tomorrow at the uh, trails that you guys have already seen that I've ridden pretty much by myself, or Bailey came that one day, but we're gonna build a lot more jumps. We've got like four or five shovels now, so um, a lot of people can dig and make this whole building jump process a lot faster now. But um, yeah, I'm excited how the light bar came out. Besides the fact that they're it's zip tied, I know there's gonna be a lot of whatever comments that it's zip tied, but I mean, you can't argue with me that this thing isn't solid for being zip tied. Like, I'm gonna wrap the video up here. If you guys enjoyed the whole build of the desk and whatever thing, definitely give this video a thumbs up along with the whole light bar. Um, I'm probably gonna get that uh, drum brake dialed in in a week or so whenever I get around to it. But um, like I said, if you guys enjoyed it, definitely hit the subscribe button if you're new. And off of that, I'll see you guys in the next one.